start recording i think we have this we have oh it's three seconds in hello visuals and welcome back to the visual guy podcast with me and chris hello. and the dog and it's uh i won't tell you why chris but we're gonna we're gonna cram this this video into one for so we can leave the next one a bit spare we can cram one into one for the yeah well because basically you'll have your entertainment crack won't you mm-hmm. we've also got to talk about she hulk so we're gonna sort of merge into one i haven't got a load of she hulk notes anyway so we don't have to fucking uh oh, okay, harp okay, on for okay, too okay. long because the next one okay. there's a reason why i want to Instead of separating She-Hulk and Entertainment, next week we'll get back to normal She-Hulk and Entertainment. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So yes, we'll get to that. You come back next on Tuesday and you'll find out why. Um, but yes, She-Hulk and Entertainment News. And uh, to be fair, we'll do a She-Hulk spoiler heavy review. But do you want to talk I Am Groot quick? I'm assuming you finished it as well. Well, it takes, what, 24 minutes to finish? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not like about the first three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Iron Groot came out and it was, it, yeah, it was a nice little bit of fun. It was. It was just, it was just a little coffee break, really. I think the best one I've had so far was the little creatures in the ground. Yeah, that was funny. Because <laughs> uh, they all start shooting but then he ends up killing them at the end and he just yeah. comes in with a little rock. Which one did I like? I quite like the, um, uh, the, the the hot tub sort of one where his hair doing that kept yeah. changing. I like, I like the one where he, he meets, like a, what is it, it's like an alien or whatever the Guardians have captured. Uh, and he's he's making the card for all the people. I thought you have seen that one, mate. Oh, yeah. that was fuck, that one was very hard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was, it was mm-hmm. rockets actually in it, and I'm I'm fairly confident it's Bradley Cooper's uh, rocket as well still. Uh, and there's a, you see Drax in the shower. He makes like a card for everybody, but he steals the stuff and he makes a, a big explosion. That and it's just for this little <laughs> card. It's cute as fuck. But it was a fun little show. I recommend anybody watch it. Uh, but there's not really much to talk about because it's not exactly. Yeah. It's in the universe, but it doesn't carry anything on. No, it sh- doesn't. It, like I said, it was a co- if you got if you got twenty odd minutes to kill, you just put it on, have a coffee, and away you go. Exactly. Uh, but She Hulk did come out, Chris. And what did, did you think it. of She Hulk? I'm not that high with it at the minute. He's not that high with it at the minute. Why? What's the matter? I don't know. Well, you got to give just, an answer. If you're not hyped, you're gonna have an it, answer. It, it just. I don't want to say far fetched because most of it's. I was about to say, mate, when you're dealing with boys <laughs> chucking webs out their wrists in yeah. big purple aliens. I don't know. I just like. I don't like the whole aspect of the, uh, the fourth camera. I don't like that. Yeah, the fourth wall break for her. You leave it to Deadpool. I don't know why she's I doing it. I don't like that. And it's just, it's just, they have a crash. They rub, rub blood, and the next minute she's She Hulk, and but she can control her powers. Not, no, well, not powers. Well, yeah, I want to say powers. Let's just say powers. Better than he can. That that's always been the case. So that's not it's, no, not new. It's, that's, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, for me, that's not a, a, too much of a down point because that's literally, we saw it in The Incredible Hulk where Stan Lee accidentally drinks the blood and he, he has a big old fit of finger, didn't he? Because you literally, the second you touch Bruce Banner's blood, you, you change it into something mental and weird and whatever. But no, that, I don't mind that aspect because she's always, that's always been her case since she came out as a combo character. So to me, that's normal yeah. that she, because obviously, but she's not as strong as him or out. Like, whereas he gets stronger and stronger, she has a cap. Right. Um, but obviously, she doesn't have an alter ego or whatever to deal with. It's just It just enhances what's already inside of her as opposed to making two different people and whatnot. Mm. So even though she's a Hulk, she's not. She's completely different to the Hulk. So I, I didn't mind all of that. The, yeah, the fourth wall did annoy me a little bit because I'm thinking, why the fuck are you doing fourth wall? I'm, I'm not... You leave that to Deadpool. Um, but I fucking loved it purely because of what it sets up, not only for her... But for what it sets up for Hulk, because obviously we'll go through the notes in a sec, I thought um, it was an absolutely hilarious episode with some fucking great banter moments. Uh, I thought it was so, so, so awesome the way they were referencing all the different minute MCU stuff from the Hulk um, snap and his arm and whatnot. And then now we finally got the explanation as to why he was uh, back to Professor Hulk in this. We've just seen him... In Shang Chi, as normal because he had his little arm device. Captain America's ass getting a reference and all this shit. The whole Captain America's obviously the cutscene ends, doesn't it? As well, because everyone yeah. has a cutscene talk about him being a virgin. We can also guess who that person at Cap would have slept with is. Uh, if you remember the first Avenger, which you probably don't. Um, I guess it would be Peggy. No, it won't be. It won't be Peggy. If it was from, someone from the USO tour, it'd be the girl with the blonde hair, who was also potentially Star Lord's mother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is quite a uh, fascinating. Um, 
But yeah, no, I, I absolutely, I, I enjoyed the hell out of this. I thought it was a fucking great episode. I can't wait to see where she goes further forward with more um, shenanigans with Daredevil and whatnot. Uh, the Sakarian ship. In fact, we'll go to one of those because I didn't mention the Sakarian ship because that leads on to a hell of a lot. Um, the first thing which was pretty cool, she, uh, Jennifer Waters is talking and she and the, the girl at the start and the, the fucking the office or whatever it is. She's like, oh, go use your savage mode or whatever, which is a quite cool nod because she is the savage She-Hulk. Yeah. So that's a fun little nod. Um, we've got the Sakarian ship that was there to deliver a message. What that message could be is sets up two possibilities for me because this is fucking awesome. It either sets up a World War Hulk convention that we're going to get, so we might have to go back to Sakaar or do some shit, um, or it could be a message because he spent a couple of years there. It could be the news of his son, Scar, and we, he's rumoured to come to the MCU eventually anyway. Yeah. So uh, the two possibilities that that leads down is friggin' awesome. Uh, it awesome. shows you a slightly different a way of how Jennifer becomes She-Hulk, and this is not exactly comic accurate. Same premise with the blood and shit, but it's not the, the crashing that's not involved. Yeah. Um, in his little hut in Mexico, or his little house thing, it's quite cool. We see the Iron Man. Uh, well, it, I don't think it is Iron Man armor. To me, that looked like the um, Iron Legion tech from Age of Ultron. You know, the ones that were just sort of there to be like police bot things. Yeah. And uh, we also see the Hulk's helmet from Scar uh, when he was battling for in the arena. We see his helmet hanging up on the wall, which is pretty cool. I love the whole thing about him and Tony being at this place and uh, making this bar and whatnot. And Tony just sat and drank more where he really did all the work and shit. I love that. The Thunderclap is back. Hulk's signature move, which Jennifer Waters then tries to do. She can't do it, but then she does eventually do it. Uh, Titiana made her appear, uh, appearance, so the, the villain's yet to come. That's, that's not the last we'll see of Titiana. And, uh, yeah, Cap, Cap's butt and is he a virgin question, which is quite weird and funny and odd, and I enjoyed it. I can't, I can't imagine he will be to the <laughs> Well, like I said, he he, he, um, he confesses at the end, Hulk, doesn't he? He says that he's not. He says where he lost it and who it was with and whatnot. And it's quite funny, Mark Ruffley put out on social media that he never mentioned to Chris Evans yeah, that, that they were going to explore this sort of little avenue and whatnot. But I absolutely friggin' adored this episode one. I thought it was great. Apart from the fourth wall shenanigans, I'm ready for more. Um, I fucking... I absolutely... I, I hated at first the way that... Um, uh, the sh first shot. I'm glad they sorted out all the CGI. Another thing that is actually a little bit annoying. The 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 way they do a Jennifer uh, Walters, well, she seems very cocky and a little bit annoying mm. uh, as it stands. The way yeah. she's doing it because like if you have just turned to a Hulk and the original Hulk is sat in front of you, trying to give you the way I I couldn't I get her character confusion because she wants to go back to her job blah blah blah. But yeah, there's something something with her that's a little bit annoying. But it's episode one overall as where they're going. I'm enjoying it. And I will admit a lot of that is because I'm, we're getting closer and closer to Daredevil, whether that's episode two, three, four, five, we don't know. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> I wasn't too sure, to be fair. Like, obviously, I'll still keep watching it. Hopefully, it'll get better for me. Mm-hmm. But, mm, I don't know. Uh, well, Chris, Chris is, uh, Chris is meh. I'm pretty sure Chris is in the middle then. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm sitting on a solid eight out of ten for me. We haven't eclipsed Moon Knight yet or anything. Moon Knight still, still for me was fucking beautiful. Um... But yeah, eight from me to start off is off. Uh, I, I might as well gr gr uh, grade it for, for fucking whatever reason. But I am group get to ten because it was just innocent and fun and harmless. I am. Any want to give a rating before we move on, Christ? To entertainment news. Uh, I am grouped so far. I'm enjoying it. So that's a solid ten. Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine that they'd be disappointed with the rest of them. Yeah. This gen uh, She Hulk. I want to say five. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, there's, there's in some a bit of a I, I enjoyed the banter, but it, it, aside, it was like, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. weird seeing Titiana being played by that Jamila Jamal, whatever, that seen her on T4 years no ago idea. when I was a, a kid. And you, she'd be like, oh, next we're going to play Hollyoaks. And now she's a villain in the MCU, which is just mental. Um... But yes, right, moving on, Chris, entertainment news. I will say I was at the cinema last night and I was watching Dragon Ball Super, Superhero. What a fucking epic film. Dragon what Ball a, Superhero. Dragon Ball Super, Superhero. Because oh, okay. <laughs> uh, they were in the Super Saga thing. We had Dragon Ball Z, uh, we had Dragon Ball um, fucking the, the Kai, uh, Dragon Ball Super. And what a fucking, the animation was beautiful. The, and it wasn't centered around Goku or Vegeta, it was all about Gohan and Piccolo. We've got new forms, we've got badass battles, new animation, new storyline. I watched it in the subtitle as well, so listening to Japanese in the cinema was mental. Um, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind watching dubs. Uh, no, I don't mind. Yeah, because uh, 
I've watched plenty of Japanese manga and shit. But it was an outstanding film. There's an English version up tomorrow, which I'll be taking Rebecca to see. Um, because she's excited for it. And oh, what a film. So good. Yeah. But yeah. What's your entertainment news anyway, Chris? Right, sorry. I am literally just doing my shopping while we're... Oh, he's doing his shopping. I wondered what he was doing. He was very... Uh, um, uh, in his phone, I thought he was looking at news, but he's doing his shopping. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's I've right, had, had a chance to do it all day, and I've just been chilling on the Xbox and shit. And oh, like... no. See, you, that's, see, whenever I've got big, important shit to do, like well, I, this morning, I went to bed at about half four, finished Smackdown, got an hour and a half kip in, I got up and did everything I needed to do, finished editing videos and all that kind of whatnot to get ready and prepared. So that means the rest of the weekend is mine to do what I want. Because I've always still got my notes out though, because I always have notes of my day to day to do lists and whatnot, and I love just ticking them off straight away. Yeah. Which is even worse because when I'm on early shift, I have to get up even early to do any little things that I can just sort out or whatever. Done, dusted, and I can go to work, come home, and the rest of the day is mine. Happy days. Mm. Right, okay. To be fair, there's not really a lot going on at the moment. It's all right, Chris. There's not really a lot going on, so... Have you started the walking... Tales from the Walking Dead World of Fuckers Have you done that? Not yet, no. I think it's only two in or some shit. Have you done Game of Thrones? It's not called Game of Thrones. It's called, um... How... Not How to... <laughs> how to Train Your Dragon. House of Dragon. That's not yet, is it? Yeah, I'll watch episode one... Eight premiered on Thursday night Friday night not that I'm a fucking fan but I figured honestly I didn't even know it was out. that much of a long week I didn't even know it came out oh mate I've had a horrible week I've been started on Saturday, a week ago today come on and I spewed everywhere but yeah. I think that was sunstroke and I was because it was it was fucking red eye at work and I was absolutely mean I even said to my boss I feel fucking rancid got in finished the football <laughs> I was just like uh, I think it, Go and literally in the sun, and then the rest of this week, I don't know if you can tell or hear, but the whole right hand side of my face is just blocked. What? I don't know. Cold. I, I don't know if it's a head cold, normal cold. I'm, I am fucking gammy, but of course, I was like, I'll take a day off work. Fuck that, man. I'm not a fucking wimp. Okay, I, I, I don't have to deal with heat because mm. I'm in an air con office. <laughs> but it's the work, because there was barely any of us in, we, I had to do pretty much everything by my tod, so I'm sweating my little dish off, running around trying to get done for the football, and that was it. I was just, uh, I was like, I'm dead. No. I'm, so I'm, I'm fairly certain it was Sunstroke. Fuck that. Fuck that. What do you want, fathead? Doggy, leave man alone. Right. So you got a few things to catch up on there, Chris? Yes. Here's your Elba. Mm-hmm. Um, he says he's working on something big for DC. Oh. But in DC? Yes. Can it be blood sport then, can it? I don't even know. Yeah, hey, not puppy boy. Yeah, it could only be blood sport because it's fine. Unless he's it's going to take off. He's got if he would ever join either Marvel or DC. And he's piped up saying, yeah, well, actually, since you mentioned it, I'm actually doing something with DC. But he's already in DC, though, with Suicide Squad. Yes, <laughs> yes, gonna help. Yeah, he's a little. Uh, he's, help a, he's a little stalker. Should have seen him taking him to the groomers the other week. What a there's, nightmare! There's, 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 a, there's, a, there's a there's a there's a there's a zone here. There's there's, there's, a, there's a zone. There's no boundaries, you're, you're pal. Entering the, what uh, you need to do is you need to turn so he gets to the back of the chair. You're entering the zone here. <laughs> <Can't turn. laughs> so yeah, he, he he he's doing something with DC, but. No, like I said, sure what it, it has to be Bloodsport then if he's already in DC in the Suicide Squad. Unless he's got a show like Peacemaker did or Maybe. or something like that. Maybe. Maybe. So. Do you know what's awesome? One of the comic books that come this week. Um, do you remember they were saying that all the clues for the Batman film? Uh, and they're going to do like the, the prequel to this Riddler's Swingy. The, the uh, comic book's finally out now. I've got it. Ugh. Ugh. Absolutely uh, beautiful. Ugh. Uh, ugh. Uh, um... Kaylee Kapoko, Kapoko, mm-hmm. Kapoko, um, is starring in a true story. It's a true story brackets comic thriller. Comic. Um, thriller. Not too sure what it's all about, but um, Jason Bateman is involved in it, and so is the guy who writ the boys. 
Oh, shit. So it, 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 it could be interesting. I'm going to check that shit uh, out then. I like that. Oh, 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 oh. I think I've got shit here. The series inspired by the bizarre true events that follows an Eva Weirdly Kahoko, uh, who is a married retailer. Mm-hmm. Re- 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 realtor. Realtor. That's the one. That's houses and shit, isn't it? Who's married a realtor, but is also a plumber and former tennis star. Fuck me, that's a, uh, fi- a wide career choice. It exposes America's obsessed with true crime murders and slow, with that slow closing toilet seats. <laughs> <laughs> She's obsessed with murder, true crimes, and slow closing toilet seats. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Um, Speaking of that kind of shenanigans, because uh, you, you got Apple TV, don't you? Yeah. Have you watched that Blackbird yet? No. But exit. Oh my God, what a! It's only the no more seasons, just six parts. One of the greatest shows I've seen in a long oh. fucking time. What I think. I think. This, I think it's because there might there's a ball under it. It might be going for that. I don't know. No, no, you ball. Because there's a rubber one underneath one of the legs. Don't know if he's after that. But yeah, we're Eggsy from uh, Go over the there. Kingsman. Go over there. Go on your bone. Oh. No. Go on your... Go away. He's such a fucking freak. <laughs> but I highly recommend you watch because that's a true story. Yeah. Oi, Optimus. I shall. Um, yeah, and the guy that plays the uh, guy that killed all the young girls and shit. Oh my God, what a fuck. Oh, it's so fucking... Honestly, because obviously I, I put you onto that... Um, um, oh, the one with uh, Michael Sheen, Prodigal Son. Mm. It's a little bit on the lines like that. It's like I said, six parts. It won't be any more. True story, absolutely outstanding. I'll give it a bander. Honestly, it's it's a fucking it smashed it. I'll give it a gun. I'll give it a gun's ass. Give it a gun's ass. Um, move on. Sonic Three is happening. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Jim Carrey has decided he's coming back. Oh, fuck, fuck for that. He's coming back. So the movie is just scheduled to be, to be out December 2024. Oh. So it's not a while to wait, unfortunately. Oh, not long ago, we watched uh, Sonic 2. Such a good film. Oh. Yes, indeed. Um, a Quiet Place 3, as we know, is happening. Mm hmm. Um, me thinking, as we spoke about this last time. Sorry, Jar Jar Binks. Me thinking. <laughs> um, last time we spoke about this, there was going to be a three. Yeah. But we also spoke about there was going to be a spin off. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that. But this is more likely going to be the spin off. What? The Quiet Place 3? Yeah. Oh. It's going to be a spin off rather than a sequel to the part two. Um. It's well, gonna be a bit more gory. I mean, I'm down for it, but I'd rather have still got the part three. Yeah, I know, I would have. Um, I, I'm sure it'd still be very enjoyable. Uh, part one and part two were amazing, so anything that comes out of this universe, I'm sure will be fun. Oh, yes. I'm sure it'll be fun. Um, fall. 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 The tower film. Yes. Yeah, the a trailer was a Dragon Ball, bizarrely. Looks in, it looks intense. I, I love... I, a lot of people hate them, right? But I love films where it's just one actor or one actress or whoever, a couple of people, and then it, they're in a bad scenario, away you go. Yeah. I, I, I like... Uh, a lot of people hated uh, Ryan Reynolds is Buried, but I loved it because it did make me feel like, oh my God, oh my God, get up. And if a film could do that, I always think, well done, well done, fucking It's praise. done by the creators who did um, 30 Meters Down or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 47. 47 metres down. Um, why they go up a tower, I don't know. Well, the tra- have you seen the trailer? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, she, that girl just wants to, she's like, I want to tackle the, it's a, got a name, the yeah. eye, whatever. Yeah. And her mate, obviously, she lost her boyfriend or whatever, her husband or some shit to a fall. Yeah. It's like her redemption. Uh, but like, the, the whole way up, there's just bolts and that coming out and they're like, <laughs> yes, keep going. But they have their little moments, don't they, where they've got to watch for the bag. And yeah. The way I thought about doing this, again, I've only seen the trailer, so I might have overseen it. You could you could slide down as a pole because it's not very thick. Or failing that, you just you just let yourself go and just catch onto a rung. 
If it was me and you, do you see one of us trying to drop and catch on to her? <laughs> Obviously not. Yeah, it's easy to say in that situation. But you, in life and death situations, you're supposed to do, you know, anything, aren't you? To, you know, like when mothers get that fucking super strength to save their child. Yeah. So if it's a case of, right, we just need to free fall for a bit of year and just grab a, grab a wrong. Might not work, but <laughs> they're, they're going to die either way, aren't they? They're at the top. Do you know what's pure stupid as well? I don't get this. You might be able to explain this better than me because I can't explain it at all. Why have they not got signal that high up? I don't know. It makes no sense. Surely that's ideal. There's absolutely not nothing. Not necessarily. There's nothing covering you or in the way. Not necessarily because you need to think where the masses are. You're closer to them. Well, no, because... Of course you have the masses are high. only so far tall. Yeah. Well, this is like towers past you. Yeah, but it, it's still <laughs> still fucking close to the ones up in the air, ones up in the air. I don't know, to be fair. I don't know. That's what I mean. I, I, <laughs> I'm not a technician, but no. to me, I'm thinking to myself, surely it's better signal. Because, you know, when you see people do shit in films or whatever to get signal, they always raise their hand, don't they? They always they try and get oh, yeah, higher. But these are these are the fucking highs you can go. But yeah, oh no, no signal. Too high, it? It's fucking stupid. It looks intense. To be no, fair. but yeah, the, the film yeah. itself looks and good. I like this. I was looking at the the cat. I, I don't really recognise two that's his, that's in it. The Jeffrey D. Morgan though. But yeah, Jeffrey D. Morgan's in it. So I hope he makes it to the next season of The Boys. There's a story about casting him for it. I think that'd be sick. So it's 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 something to watch. You can see it's it's out soon. I think. Yeah, it was just weird. I sat there ready for this anime, and then that come on as a trailer. I'm thinking, all right, no worries. Which... Um, Jason Statham. Mm-hmm. He is speaking to Marvel. Oh, oh. And uh... bullseye. Yep. I was literally just thinking in my head. I have no idea why, because that's the first I've heard of it. I swear to you, my mum's like first I've heard of it. I was thinking straight away, my my head did, you know one of them things where a computer's looking for a file, they're skimming pictures. Yeah. <laughs> my head quickly did that of all the Marvel characters quickly, and I'm thinking, he could play a bullseye. Wow. I he could be playing bullseye. I, 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 don't. I, would, I would take Jason Statham as bullseye. So does that mean then, because at the way Daredevil ended on Netflix, they had alluded in that final season that that guy was bullseye. All oh, right, okay, I won't tell you who then. <laughs> but they alluded that they had a bullseye. Right, okay. So it must be... Uh, I was, okay, no, fair enough. Yeah. They must be... They're doing whatever they're doing. They're doing whatever they're doing. Um, X5? No, X10. Past 10, please. We'll get there. X10? Past 10. <laughs> uh, May <laughs> next year. Okay. So not long to go. And the last... Nearly the last one. Yes. Yeah. Because the 10 and 11 is supposed to be back to back. Um, but yeah, uh, I spoke about this recently, or previously. Um, but we know it's coming now. The Continental. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a three-part special, so they're going to be like movie lamps. Right. Okay. Three parts, just constant, just talking about the Continental and how it became. That hotel. Mental yeah. hotel for assassin people. Yes. Which is coming next year. Okay, fair play. Um, we had a trailer for it on Wednesday, weirdly. Um, Wednesday series. Yeah, I saw that. Mm-hmm. It, looks in, it looks interesting. The casting's done very well. Yeah. Um, don't recognise the boy, but obviously you've got Gaffer City Jones, mm-hmm. you've got some Louis Guy, and obviously her. That Jenna person mm-hmm. who was in Prey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, looks interesting. Give it a go. You did Prey in the end, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. I always spoke about it, didn't we? We did. Uh, Lord of the Rings, the Tower, the, the Ring of Power. 2nd of September, so not long to go for. Um, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this, but I'm still very sceptical, just because I don't think it's going to be as... Honestly, mate, there's, there's, I keep saying, I sort of repeat myself, there's only one trilogy that's absolutely perfect from start to finish, that's Lord of the Rings, and I don't think anything Lord of the Rings attached will ever find that magic ever again. I really don't. I don't think it's going to be crap or out. I think it's going to be fun and awesome and cool, 
And I just, I don't know, I don't know what it is. That that was like a weird, perfect moment in time. You've got a few moments in time that are always perfect, and that's one of them. Yeah. I so you never know. You never know. You never know. Um, Ryan Reynolds has kind of tweeted that an RIPD two could be coming. Yeah, the first one was okay. Mind the first one. It was all right. Well, we I see. I don't know if it was him that confirmed, but it was confirmed that Deadpool will be part of the team that faces off against Khan. Well, no. So that'd be quite cool. There's an Avengers assemble, Chibichunga. I didn't know. Chibichunga could be good. Um, Don't have all the rings. They have kind of like new owners. Okay. Um, which means that now these people I don't have time to figure out who these people are but I have to figure it out who bought the rights to Lord of the Rings now now own obviously Lord of the Rings and Gollum and Hobbits and yeah. all that shit now. they're on about making some movies but spin-offs okay that's fine don't know where don't know how they're going to do it but yeah Nice to see where they're going to go with this. Yeah, I mean, you can't really go too much after because not a great deal happened after. It's quite literally everyone is happy ever after end of. Yeah. So I mean, there are moments in time before you know with Sauron's early ages, which is obviously which is what this series is about to explain. The Ever Rings of Power. Maybe we explore the Dwarf Kingdom a bit more. We go over to the Bay of Belfast, which is on the east side of the map, uh-huh. uh, west side. I, maybe we explore a bit more. And that shenanigans, or when there was more dragons and more Balrogs. That's what I'm saying. What a veteran suit with that one. It's just early news, so you never know. <coughs> um, MCU Times has piped up. Mm-hmm. The last of these have piped up. Um, they're saying, or there was a rumour saying that the next MCU saga, the big main thing. Um, after the multiverse, is will be concentrating more on the mutants. Okay, so they'll wrap up all of this shenanigans, and then yes. so it's going to continue past phase six because initially they said didn't they it was going to be six phases and that was it. Mm-hmm. So they'll fit, wrap up with all this Kang stuff, and then they're going to focus on oh, I, so maybe you won't get new Wolverines and shit until then. Possible. Mm. Possible. That was my yesterday's lunch. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. In uh, Chris's lunch, he had a book I did. Very nice. Very nice. And to finish off, um, Sex Education. Yes, Season did you see that four, little video? They're finally in production. They finally get things sorted. But obviously, we're not going to see, a while, see yeah. it for a while yet. It's going to be probably this time next year. Speaking of that, it's kind of funny you said that. I applied to be an extra on sex education. I never heard back from him. Did you? It was on Instagram. You should apply to be an extra. And I was like, fuck it, why not? Even if I'm in the school, just one round. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that fucking big fat nonce? He still wants to be in school. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just thought, fuck it, it was on Instagram. I didn't apply. But yeah, I enjoyed sex education. Sex education. And that is it. That is my well, well, thank you very much, Chris. That was a nice little uh, look into She-Hulk, Groot, and um, the entertainment in the news. Please hurry up and go and watch Dragon Ball. It's so fucking beautiful and badass and amazing. And, oh. Makes you all just so excited for me. Because you've well, got uh, new Pokemon game. You Batman game. Sorry, it's not Batman. It's Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights. We've got a few more shows and whatnot coming out. I'm so excited and I just I can't hide it. Sorry. You'll see all the football that's underway. And oh, it's all it's a good time to be alive. Apart from feeling like absolute shit. Apart from feeling like absolute poop. It's a bit weird that when you've got a cough because cigarette amenities taste fucking beautiful. I don't know what it is. And you're going to be disgusted with this. But the taste of that bright green phlegm you bring up tastes beautiful. Me, I don't know why it tastes, and it's all lumpy and chunky. You mean that? Ah, but hey, so we'll go. We'll refill our brews because we're actually going to watch a, a, a bullet tram, and we've got a little while till we need to actually set off. Have a fag, fill up brews, come back up, chill out, and uh, discuss what I need to discuss with Chris. Oh, well, it's, it's not even a discussion, really. It's just like a cool thing. But um, visuals. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for listening. Go check out she Go check out whatever we've mentioned. 
And uh, keep in you and keep on keeping up. Thanking you. I love you. Bye. And love you. Bye.